Good morning guys and welcome back to the coffee bar. Today we're not doing a review but we're going to do a comparison. Which is better? You hear that growling? Hey, I'm trying to film a video here. Which is better? French press or a Chemex? Today, we're going to figure out which is better, the French press or the Chemex, or maybe just a good old fashioned Keurig. The coffee we are going to use is coffee that I have reviewed before. This is the Origin 1668 coffee from Ethiopia. That never gets old. We're going to put that coffee in the Chemex, and we're going to put this coffee in the French press. We're going to see which one tastes better. Now, if you're a lot like me, you don't have a lot of time to sit around and wait for the French press to be done or the Chemex to be done. Uh, putting it on scales, letting it sit on a timer for so long. Sometimes you just got to throw it in the Keurig and run. So let's get started. First we take the plunger out. Obviously we have a clean... I, I, I'm filming. Alright, you, you might just take a break over there somewhere. Diesel. That's not for you. Now he's going to chew in a leg of my tripod. Apologize for the vibration, but he doesn't seem to care. We're going to take our filter, put it in our Chemex. Our French press is ready to go. Now again, I, I probably should measure the coffee. I probably should weigh the coffee. But I don't. And maybe that's why I'm not getting the best cup of coffee I could possibly get. But if I'm in a hurry, I don't have time for a French press anyways. So put the coffee in there. That's a little bit much. Coffee in the Now, a lot of people will measure and weigh their coffee. I have enough coffee grounds in the bottom to fill up to this band right here. That's the way I've done it in the past. That seems to be what works for me. You know, a lot of people will also weigh and measure their coffee for the Chemex. Calling an audible. I am going to also make a Keurig coffee. Let's see which one tastes better. Hey, don't chew on the camera equipment. Thank you. Diesel, please don't do that. My God, what a circus. Wake up in the morning, I feel like I'm at the circus. Now here's what we're gonna do. We are now not only going to compare the Chemex with the French press, just decide to throw in the Keurig. We're gonna see which one makes a better cup of coffee. Now you're all gonna say, well, the Keurig's a no-brainer. You put it in the pod and you away you go true these here take some depending on who you are and what you like some fine measurements and fine weights in order to get to what you need and some fine time to let us in I'm not knocking it it just seems like a lot of work to me let's see what we're gonna do here all right Make sure all the grounds are mixed up. Yes, I just stirred my French press. 
Now we're going to put the rest in. I'm just going to let this sit for a minute while I tend to the Chemex. Not the most elegant pouring with this stainless steel pot. Now the professional baristas, they, you know, they'll tell you don't pour the water on the paper, then you'll get a paper taste with your coffee. I've never once noticed a paper taste with my coffee. Maybe that's just me. Now normally what you're doing is, normally what you would do with a Chemex is this is sitting on a scale. As you pour your water in per weight of grounds that you have, you pour until it gets to a certain weight, then you stop. Then you let it sit. So I can tell you, I am late for work. Oh, speaking of late for work. See how easy that was? That's a curing. Fill the pod, push the button, wait probably just a few seconds, and you have your coffee. Here, I'm late for work. I'm not knocking it, folks. I'm not knocking it. This is probably going to be, well, I've had it before, so it is really good coffee. If you have the time to wait. So, let's put the plunger in. And you should have a nice steady push with a little bit of tension. That feels good there. That one felt good. All right, so now we got the French press is done. The Chemex is done. The Keurig is done. Obviously, the Keurig was by far the fastest, but is it the best cup of coffee? First up, the French press. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Now the Chemex. All right, so here we have it. This is our, this is obviously our French press, our Chemex, and our Keurig. I'm gonna burn myself here. All right. I can already tell you, part of the issue with using a Keurig, when you run different coffees through it all the time, unless you're going to clean your Keurig, which nobody does, after every cup of coffee, you get the remnants of the past coffees before that. So I can smell that in this cup of coffee here. But the Chemex coffee smells clean, if, if that makes any sense. All right. Now, normally with the French press and the Chemex, you let them sit for a while, which gives the time to cool down and a little easier to drink. I told you, I'm late for work. I don't have time to let it cool down, which is the reason I decided to throw in the Keurig with the French press and the Chemex. So, let's see what we got. French press. Strong, a little bitter. I kind of like that. Now the Chemex. A little more bitter. The Keurig. Sorry for the slurping.
Okay. Yes, we're going to do milk. For some reason, the Keurig has stripped out a lot of flavor. As I said with the French press, it's slightly bitter, but a smooth taste, and you can really taste the coffee. When I went to the Chemex, which is a pour over, as you saw, slightly more bitter, slightly more bitter. We'll go with slightly more bitter and a stronger coffee taste. That could be due to a number of factors. Me not weighing the coffee, and uh, me not weighing the water going in, but it still tasted good. But when I get to the Keurig, which is just quick and dirty, it's fast, it's easy, it's what I drink all the time, it seemed to have stripped all the flavor out. Hence the reason Keurig gets a bad rap. So, which is better? As it stands right now, the coffee's black, no milk. The French press is better. Hands down, the French press is better. All right, splash of milk. Let's see what this does to the bitter taste. I really like the look of this French press coffee. Here goes. Wow. Okay, so when I added the milk, it just it just took the edge off of the bitterness, but left the strong coffee taste. That is that's one good cup of coffee. All right, now the Chemex or pour over. Same thing. Bitterness is pretty much gone here. That too is a good cup of coffee. All right, time for the Keurig. I'm not putting a lot of hope in this one here, Keurig. All right. Here's the end result. So here we go. The coffee method that came in first for me was the French press. Hands down, French press. There is not even a close second, although we do have a second. So the coffee method that came in second was the Chemex. For the amount of time you have to wait for a Chemex to get done and the amount of work that goes into a Chemex, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but there's not too many of us that have enough time in the day to sit and wait for that. Anyways, number three. Yeah, well, if there was a 10, it would have been 10, but this is a number three. The Keurig. I'm not sure what the Keurig does, but it strips a lot of flavor out of this coffee. Um, I like the, the bitterness. Now, what I liked about the, the most about the French press was it left a fair bit of bitterness. It just took the edge off with a little bit of milk. Black, fantastic. It doesn't take a lot of time. to throw some grounds in your press, pour the hot water in, press it, do a couple things, and then pour your cup of coffee. Not a problem. The pour over, the, the Chemex, is a little more time consuming. So by the time you get things set up, do your pour, wait for the bloom, do your pour again. It, it requires attention. That's the issue. This doesn't require attention, neither does the Keurig. I'm rambling on here, but for quick and dirty, it's a Keurig. Any other time, it's a French press. All right, guys, so there you have it. My three favorite ways to make coffee. Not really. Um, the favorite way to make coffee is with a Keurig. Even at the end of all this, why? Because it's quick and dirty. Anyway, that is it. French press number one, Chemex number two, and Diesel's parking in the background, Keurig's number three. So let me know in the comments down below what you like best, whether it is a French press, a pour over, or a Keurig, or you like instant coffee. I am not a fan of instant coffee, but doesn't mean you don't have to be. Uh, make your own comparison at home or leave me a comment down below what is your favorite way to make coffee. You gotta love the new puppy. He'll be coming on the video soon. All right, guys, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of that. The best coffee, as far as I am concerned, for what suits me, is the French press. Quick and dirty out the door, it's a Keurig, and I'm sure it's a Keurig for a lot of people. Anyways, if you have not already done so, please hit that subscribe button, like button, share button, and for God's sake, ring the bell. That way you get notified each time I upload a video. And remember, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it.
Later. You get residual, you get residual, you get the, 